Hi, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you really cool 1930s Pinocchio dolls made by the Ideal Novelty Toy Corporation. And a gentleman by the name of Joseph Callis created these, he designed these, and he was uh, also the designer be behind Rose O'Neill's Cupid doll. And the Cupid doll was very popular. And uh, so this guy, Joseph Callis, designed these toys and uh, actually um, Walt Disney allowed him the license. And so let me show you, it has the original Ideal Novelty and Toy Corporation stickers on them, which usually go missing by now. Because these were, I believe, made in 1938 or 1939. And they're made out of composition and wood and the bodies are made out of wood segmented joints and the heads are made out of composition and as you can see they have their original felt hats these two are a pair so I call them the twins and they almost look like the snap crack, crack bleh, <laughs> snap crackle and pop rice krispies treats elves they hold a pose very well I do keep them on doll stands because I'm afraid that they'll fall over and the composition and the paint might chip or flake or crack off. As you can see, it does have various states of, of wear, which is quite common for these composition head dolls. The body, which is made out of wood, is in really great shape, actually. And they can be posed in all different, like, uh, various states. And uh, they have like little knobs for hands, as you can see here. And they're painted really nicely. There's the uh, famous nose that Pinocchio is famous for. And one has a purple bow tie and the other one has a navy blue bow tie. Look at their little feet. Now it appears that a child had tied a little silk corded rope around one of them and he was probably trying to actually turn this into a puppet which is really cute if you think about it and let me turn one of them around so I can show you what the bodies looked like Apparently, from what I've read, these were given out as carnival prizes during the late 1930s. And from what I read, these weren't sold in stores, although I don't believe that. Someone said that he never saw them in stores when he was a kid and that the only way you can get them is by winning them in a carnival. So once again, if you like what you see, be kind, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.